Hi everyone and welcome back to case 18 of the Brain Tumor Board Review series. Today we're looking at a case of a 77 year old man with gait abnormalities falling to the left. Here we see some images from a CT through the posterior fossa. Hopefully you can kind of key in on a little bit of asymmetry here. Now we have some images from the patient's MRI. So we have a flare, T2, a gradient here. Hopefully you can now hone in on that abnormality, kind of figure out where it is, kind of think about what space is it located in and what kind of lesions occur in that space. Now you have a T1 pre-contrast and post-contrast. You have a pre-contrast on the left here, post-contrast on the right. Try to decide if you see some enhancement there. Now you have coronal and sagittal images also through the lesion. These are both post-contrast T1. So hopefully by now you've kind of come up with a differential diagnosis, got a lesion in the kind of fourth ventricular outflow tract there. So your question is, what's the most likely diagnosis? So what do you think this tumor is? And now what is the household item most associated with a sign for this tumor? So what's the, what's the kind of characteristic sign that's described for this lesion? Is it toothpaste, soap, Mr. Clean, or dumbbell? For those of you guys outside of uh, the U.S., Mr. Clean is a household cleaner. Uh, this is the case of an ependymoma. So ependymomas are enhancing intraventricular tumors arising from the ventricular lining. They tend to have two peaks. They occur in pediatric patients and uh, they can occur in adults. In adults, they're most commonly in the fourth ventricle. The classic histology term, we saw this on another case as a question, is a perivascular pseudo rosette. So if you see that, be aware that that's uh, the characteristic description of an ependymoma. Now on the imaging of these patients, you tend to have intraventricular masses. They can be heterogeneous. They usually have uh, heterogeneous and avid enhancement and calcification is common. Now when you see them in the fourth ventricle, they tend to follow the fourth ventricular outflow tract, which is why they've been referred to as toothpaste lesions, because like toothpaste, they're squeezing through the fourth ventricular outflow tracts. Now your differential diagnosis when you see these uh, for intraventricular lesions, so it's a metastasis. If it's less enhancing, you might think about a subependymoma. Choroid plexus, papillomas, and choroid plexus tumors uh, can also happen in these locations. So that can be, can be uh, in your differential. If you can't tell that it's in the ventricle and it's arising from the cerebellar hemisphere, uh, you might think about medulloblastoma or a cerebellar tumor. But most of the time, you can tell that these are in the ventricles. So in this case, on the CT, you see along the left fourth ventricular outflow tract, you have a mass here. It's got some peripheral calcification, maybe a little bit chunky there. You do get calcified choroid plexus in that region, but in this case, it's asymmetric and there's too much there. On your flare, you see this um, kind of intermediate to hyperintense mass. It's along the left outflow tract here. Here you see the frame of Lushka on the right. So you're right at the frame of Lushka and you're kind of squeezing through. It's heterogeneous on T2, and on gradient, you're just seeing some of those areas of calcification that you saw on the CT. On pre and post contrast, you see it's pretty ISO intense to the adjacent white matter here, uh, but then on post contrast, you've got avid enhancement. It's pretty heterogeneous, kind of ugly looking lesion, and uh, so that tells you you have an enhancing intraventricular mass. The most common enhancing intraventricular mass in this location is an ependymoma. Here we see just the coronal and sagittal reformats showing the same thing. We have that avidly enhancing mass there, kind of squeezing out of the fourth ventricle, like I said, like toothpaste. So that's the answer to your second question. The household item associated with the sign for this tumor is toothpaste. So if you see a lesion squeezing out of the fourth ventricle like toothpaste, it's an ependymoma. Thanks for tuning in to uh, case 18 here. We have two more cases to go uh, left in this series. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos and it's helping you get ready for your board exam in this kind of quick, uh, short fashion. And uh, if you guys like the videos, be sure to drop a comment in the uh, chat below or uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the videos. Thanks you guys all for tuning in.